Hello, ooh. What is this hello? Where do you get that from? Why is that on you so strong? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinnie McKell. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today we are a little late to the party, a little late to the game, but that's okay. We are reviewing, reviewing Taraji P. Henson's Body Care Line. I have some thoughts, some things to say. Before we get into that, I have to thank my beautiful new subscribers. Love you all. If you don't know, I'm on a journey to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Do we know if that's going to happen or not? We don't, but I'm still grateful and happy for everyone that I've gained along the way. Today is another day in my 25 days of content. Um, my birthday is September 25th, so starting from September 1st, I'm doing a video every day of content. Um, just to kind of get myself in the groove, back in the groove of... Um, posting consistently and I always have like a lot of ideas and sometimes I get overwhelmed by the amount of ideas that I have and I'm like oh you gotta do this this it just gets overwhelming so this is my way of just like hey put it out put it out put it out it's not perfect but it's complete and it's done and that is the goal so I hope you guys are enjoying this content let me know so far what have you enjoyed seeing if you have any other suggestions or ideas for videos that you want to say that videos that you want to see put them in the comments down below and I will get to them so without further ado I said subscribe I said my content I think we good let's get into this body care okay so let's start with the first thing that I used it was this baby buffed exfoliating body polish mine has let me just tell y'all something so this was released exclusively exclusively through Walmart. <clears throat> her line. You could only you couldn't even get it on her website. Only at Walmart. Walmart need to do better with their packaging. Because when I ordered um this body cleanser, they just threw it in a bag. No wrapping, no taping, no nothing. Just threw it in like a, a little bubble wrap uh bag and mailed it to me. Half the bottle has spilled in transit. Like, no care, no nothing. This one is, like, sticky. It's got stuff on it. I, it's not Taraji's fault. Walmart. Y'all need to do better. And I had to, like, I mean, I wanted the whole set of everything, so I had to get it from, like, different cities. One came from, like, Arizona. It did come from far and wide. So I'm not going to say it's all Walmarts, but just as a collective, y'all should not be sending stuff like that. And that's my little spiel. Do my girl right. If you're going to do her collection, make sure everybody sent. Why would you send something like this, a top like this, with no, nothing in it? Uh, anyway, so if there's stuff on it, it's because that's how they sent it. Anyway, this is the Baby Buffed uh, Exfoliating Body Polish in Vanilla and Tuberose. So, if you know me, I've talked about it before, I don't like sugar scrubs. And this is absolutely a sugar scrub. Um, having that said... This vanilla tuberose, I think this is a game changer. Like, that smell, I think that's that's top tier for me. Like, she can give me this anytime. Um, I did attempt to use it because, you know, I don't like the, this feeling on my skin. From what I remembered, um, the smell was good. It did exfoliate, but I felt like I had to use a lot to get... A good exfoliation going like I felt like I used half not half the bottle but like I used a significant amount just to get through just to feel like I had on enough to like cover my body so I will say that is with this one and a couple other ones I don't feel like I feel like you have to use a lot of product to feel like you're getting a good cleanse a good lather so I do I think this one is necessary no um, if you just want it as a part of the laying process because it is Vanilla and tuberose. It's an amazing scent. It's okay exfoliation. I just feel like you have to use a lot of product to get a good exfoliation going. So, but also, her the packaging for this line is top tier. I absolutely love it. Um, but this is not a necessary. This is not a need in my opinion. I'm also biased because I don't like sugar scrubs. So keep that in mind. We'll talk about this. This is an inner good days and energizing gel body cleanser in mandarin and ginger now this scent i do like it but i don't think this particular mandarin and ginger i don't think this is blind by safe as in a smell that you would like it's the ginger 
I personally like it. It only goes with like, if you like, the, I don't know why I think these two kind of smell like, but if you like his, Hibiscus Paradise from Bath Body Works, then you might like this one. Um, it's like a, I almost feel like, I almost want to say like an oriental smell a little bit. So I don't think this particular scent, the Mandarin Ginger, is um, blind by safe. Uh, as far as in the shower, again, I will say for this one, I felt like I had to use a lot of product in order to get a good lather. Like, I got my rag lathered up, and I feel like once I got halfway through, I had to re-up, lather again some more. So the um, lather with these cleansers, so far in my opinion, is not the best. It's not the worst either. I've seen worse. But I feel like you do have to put a lot of product to get a good lather, and this one is no exception. This is the Wind Down a Relaxing Creamy Body Cleanser in Ylang Ylang in Palo Santo. Again, she did her thing with the packaging. I think this one is blind by safe as far as the smell. I don't think I'm supposed to turn that, so let's not. Um, I think the smell is friendly. Um, same with the cleanser. For me, I don't know... If, if you've experienced it or if you haven't, maybe I just hadn't used it enough. But I just felt like I had to re-up one wash through. I had to go section by section, get the towel again, re-up, lather again. Um, I did like how I felt after using this one though. I do remember liking feeling clean, but it just I felt like you have to use a lot to get a good lather going. Um, that's just my experience. If you had a different experience, drop down in the comments. Let me know. But that's just how I felt. Now, baby, let me tell you this right here. This Anything Glows uh, Body Oil and Vanilla and Tuberose. What I can tell you is that I need two more of these. Baby girl did her thing with this. First of all, that Vanilla and Tuberose, that, that needs to be her staple. That combination is perfect it's beautiful i think it can wear year round that scent that she came with that i don't know who was on the team who was on the committee but they did their thing and let me tell you when you put this on after the after your shower baby skin you feel rich and luxurious and just moisturized it's this is to me without question the best thing from her line this body oil, this, if you don't get nothing else, get this body oil. Especially for coming out the shower, oh my gosh. And I mix this with, um, this is going to go on my fall layering combination video, but I wore vanilla and tuberose and I mixed it with our Giorgio Armani C. I felt like grown, sexy, sophisticated woman. That's what this is giving. This body oil, I cannot say enough good things about this. If you don't get nothing else, if you don't hear nothing else I say, this body oil is a time. And I feel like it goes with a lot of things. A lot of vanilla, fall vanilla, even gourmands. I feel like this is just, this is just that girl. So, we also have Watch Me Whip in the body cream, vanilla, and tuberose. Again, the packaging, I do feel like it's timeless. It's classic. I think she did a great job. Um, as you can see, I've used a little bit of it. Uh, I like the consistency. Um, yeah, I think this is... Oh, it spreads really well. Um, this actually isn't as strong as far as smell as that vanilla and tuberose and, um, body oil. But it's still good. It's still good. But baby, this uh, softer than a mother body butter? Oh, baby. A uh, time. And the consistency... I don't know. Okay, so let me see if I can demonstrate the difference. If I can show the difference in the texture. and So let's try to get an up-close texture shot. So this is the... Let's get a little up. This is the... I don't know if you can tell, but this is the... What is this? The body cream. Okay? So that's how that's... I don't know if you can really see that. Alright? That's that. So it's more, the body cream is just like what it says. It's more creamier. It's probably more fluffy. It's definitely, it's like body cream texture. This is the body butter. Okay. This. It's thicker. Look at me trying to get it out. It's thicker. You see that? 
I don't know if this is coming up well, if it's demonstrating correctly, but the consistency is night and day different. This stuff here, she need to sell this by the gallon. It's it's like a oh this and when I did the body on then came out and did this on top, baby. This body butter is my second favorite. Softer than the mother. Vanilla and tuberos. Oh, and I love these names. Because you know what comes after mother. Softer than the mother. Watch me whip. I love that it feels representative of her personality. Right? So it makes me feel like she had a lot of creative control in this line. Which makes me very, very, very happy. And my computer and my laptop is... Or what is this called? A camera's getting ready to die. Okay, so next we have the Ish Condish. An in shower skin conditioner. This is also in mandarin and ginger. Again, I don't think it is blind by safe as far as the smell. But as far as the product is concerned, um, I feel like it did what it needed to do. I used, I try to use, I don't know why I be talking so fast. I try to use in shower conditioners after a good exfoliation and a good um, shave. Like when I shave my legs and stuff like that, I try to use an in shower conditioner right after that. I feel like it seals whatever, I just feel like it does best during those days um it did the job i have no complaints about this one um other than i don't think the scent is is blind by safe but as a add, added layer of moisture um especially in the shower 10 out of 10 no complaints out of me beautiful bottle beautiful packaging this is the the leave on hydrating daily body lotion in mandarin and ginger Beautiful packaging. My only gripe is this nozzle for to get the lotion out is so small. It took forever for me to pump it enough to get a like to lotion. Like, let me show you. I don't know if y'all can see how much comes out. Let's see. Like it's look how little that is. I'm a big girl. It take a lot to moisturize my body. I was pumping like four five six seven times just to do one section and having to go it was like a lot so i would if anything again who am i nobody but taraji pin has some people if y'all see this make this nozzle at the top a little wider or a little thicker so that we can get more out of it because it took me forever to pump 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 <laughs> it took forever for me to get enough for me to feel like i had a good amount to lather my body um, that is my only complaint about that one. It's I think it smells good. I don't think it's a, a daily wear. I definitely feel like I have to be in a specific mood to get into that mandarin and ginger. Um, but not that vanilla tuberose. I can do that vanilla tuberose on a daily basis. Every day. Any day. I can do that vanilla tuberose. But that is all for my review of Tarashi P. Henson Body Care. Let me know what you think. I think overall, I think my girl did her thing. I'm super excited for her. Especially as a black actress navigating entering into this space i think she did an amazing job i can tell she took her time i can tell she consulted with people and she should be very proud very happy walmart do my girl right stop shipping her stuff without no protection on it just throwing it in a bag and shipping it that's dumb y'all wasting product get my girl together don't do her like that but other than that have you do you have it have you tried it are you going to look into it i didn't get the candles because i just really wasn't interested but it's, i believe i got everything from her body care line and overall, I'm very happy. I'm very excited to use these products up. You know which ones I'll be repurch repurchasing. The Softer Than a Mother. and softer, softer Than a Mother. Let me say it right. Softer Than a Mother. And the um, Anything Glows Body Oil. I'm going to need about two more of them. Uh, but other than that, that is it. Thank you all so much for watching my 25 Days of Content. If you're just saying this just because you're one thoughts and opinions on her line let me know what you think drop it in the comments make sure to hit that subscribe button i love you all thank you so much